This is Hezekiah C. Dungan, and this is the history class. In 16th century, because of the rise of industry and commerce, breakthroughs in science, advancement in navigation, and the introduction of machine and marine instruments, Europe was undergoing some changes. Oriental spices, silk, fruits, Persian rugs, perfumes, and precious stones were very profitable in European marketplaces. And trade between some European merchants and Asian countries flourished. That's why Vanikin saw the southern route as their prospect and control the Euro-Asian trade. Hi, I'm Hezekiah C. Dohan, a student from University of Mindanao, coming to you virtually, screen to screen, and today let's talk about why the Vanikins able to monopolize the southern route and control the Euro-Asian trade. Trade has always been and will continue to be a critical component of keeping a nation, city, or state healthy. It permits mutually advantageous trade, or commerce in which both parties benefit is an example of this type of transaction. The trade between the Vanikins and the Ottoman Turks is an example of this type of trade. According to World History Missing, Venice was a republic perfectly built for water-based trading. As a result, Venetians are known for their shipbuilding skills. Moreover, the Ottoman Turks closed two trade routes, the Northern Route and the Central Route. An Ottoman Empire lasted from about 1300s to 1919 Common Era, so it was one of the longest lasting and richest empire in history. Because of this wealth, the Ottomans had many of the materials that Venice needed or wanted. In addition, Venice obtained wet, spices, raw silk, and classified ashes used in making fine glass from the Ottomans. The Venetian exported glass, soap, paper, and other arts to the Ottomans. Hence, I believe it was fair because the Ottomans did not require the materials that Venice possessed, though they desired them. Venice, on the other hand, required the supplies such as wet because they were unable to cultivate. And that's how Venetians gained the relationship to the Ottoman Turks. Furthermore, Venetians was allowed by Ottomans to use southern route by just paying a certain amount passage. Thus, Venetians able to monopolize the southern route and Euro-Asian trade was controlled. The reason behind why they did pay for an amount for the route is to make their trading system easier and more accessible. This monopoly forced the Kingdom of Portugal and Spain to find another route to Asia so that they can continue their profitable trade. I hope you learned something. Again, this is Hezekiah Sidon and this is the history class. Bye-bye!